ESPN 1420 exclusive here with Raging Cajun senior infielder Stefan Trosclair. And Stefan, you were named an All-American. <laughs> you received a ton of other preseason honors. Do you try to ignore that stuff, or is it kind of fun to embrace the attention a little bit? Um, I'm honored, you know, to get awards, but it's uh, from what we did in the past, you know, and, and it has nothing to do with this season. And it, it's it's all po uh, preseason stuff, you know, so I'm, I'm looking forward to see what I can do out there this season and, and get rolling, get the season rolling. How have you tried to grow your game as a player since last year uh, to try to make it more all-around and rounded? What's something you've worked on? Uh, I've, I've just tried to stay very detailed in, uh, in everything I do, just the small details, you know, the, the little things, and, and keep working every day and, and see where I end up, see where we end up as a team at the end. All right, this is your last year on campus. Do you have anything you want to accomplish before leaving UL? I'm not trying to get you all sentimental already, but, I mean, have you thought about it? I definitely want to graduate, you know. That's uh, one thing, and I'd love to go to Omaha, man. It's always been a dream uh, to, to, to play there. Oh, man, I've heard that, heard that O word a couple times already today. Now, your name comes up in a lot of conversations about leaders, and some fans might look at it and say, well, he hasn't been here his, his whole time. How can that happen? Do you see yourself as a leader, and, and how did that kind of happen? Uh, yeah, definitely, I do. And uh, I'm a senior, and, and I've, I'm a returner. I played a lot of innings last year. You know, guys look up to me, I, I think, and... I embrace it, and I learned a lot from BT. He uh, he was a great leader on and off the field, and uh, he he was great. I mean, we learned so much from him, just his energy and his passion, and his detail, <laughs> attention to detail every day. You know, it was it was great to learn from him. You still talk to BT? Yeah, definitely. I, I uh, <coughs> talked to him before he left for uh, for spring training. I think he left a few weeks ago, and uh, we'll stay in touch all the time, all season. You know. And you had you had a lot of decisions to make before you came here to UL, whether it was to go somewhere else, maybe to look at, at the professional level. Looking back on it, was your decision to come to UL one of the best choices you've made in your life? And how has the team and coaching staff kind of affected your journey as a baseball player and as a man? Man, it's it's been a great choice. I uh, I'm happy I made it. I uh, when I was going through the process, I one of the big things. I do when I when I make big decisions like that. I, I was praying a lot about it, and I had a uh, I had a dream about it that I that I came here, and I, I actually had a dream about going to Eunice LSU Eunice also, so I, I stuck with it and I I, uh, I came here. I decided to come here, and I I've loved it every second of it. And I'm I'm happy where I am. Couldn't uh, couldn't be more happy. Have you had a dream about Omaha yet? <laughs> uh, not yet, but I'm sure it's coming. All right, well, you're going to have to tell us when it happens so that we can get the early prediction. All right, what's, what's something you've learned from Coach Robe that will help you after you graduate? Because we, we know how much he knows about baseball. What's something that he's, he's kind of taught you that you'll carry on forever? Definitely. Robe's incredible, man. He, he, uh, he's taught us how to be men. That's, uh, that's one thing he, he really pays attention uh, a lot to. To us, is teaching us how to be men. And, on and off the field, you know, and, and how to how to treat women, how to how to live every day, you know, and I think it's it's great, and I, I'm happy I got to to be um, one of his players, got to listen to him for for these two years, and it, it couldn't have worked out any better. And in a, in a different world, if you couldn't play baseball, what would you want to do with your life? If I couldn't play baseball, I think I'd be a professional golfer. I love playing golf, you know. Or uh, I'd hunt, hunt and fish a lot. I like hunting and fishing too. So there it is, game, game, gamesman or golfer. You ready to have a little fun? Oh, yeah. All right. I know Coach Bab. His his batting practice playlist is a little classic rock heavy. Do you you a fan of the Bab playlist? Oh, uh, a little bit. I like the uh, Shug. Shug likes to put on the the hits of the 2000s, and I like that one. I like Shug's playlist a little better. See, there we go. Okay, so Shug, Shug wins the playlist battle. All right, does, is, does Robe crack jokes? Because he seems to always be very serious and tell stories. Does, does he tell jokes in private? He does, and uh, when you ever get a joke from Robe, it's one of the funniest ones you've ever heard. He's a, he's a funny man. All right, uh, do you have a favorite movie? Like, if, if there's nothing else on, or it's Lazy Day, you pop it on, what, what is it? The Sandlot. Always been my favorite. What's your, what's your favorite character from The Sandlot? It's got to be uh, Benny, Benny the Jet, Rodriguez. Benny, it's I, I, I own a p pair of uh, of PF Taylors because of, or P PF Flyers because of those. I almost messed them up. They're actually Chucks. I have a pair. Uh, actually, I have a pair of PF Flyers. Uh, how old are they? When did you get them? Have you been replacing them? I've had them for about three years. Yeah. There it is. He wants he wants to be Benny Rodriguez. All right, and then last one is there is there a guilty pleasure television show you have? Something that that you might not want to admit, but I'm gonna make you admit it right now. 
No, I don't, I don't really watch a lot of TV. I, uh, I like to eat a lot of food. I guess that'd be my, <laughs> my pleasure. All right, one fa then one, fa one favorite food, and then I'll wrap you up. Oh, crawfish. Crawfish all the way. Ball crawfish. All right, we're going to enter Stefan Trostclair in a crawfish eating competition. Stefan, good luck in the season, man. Thanks, man.